All right, so this is my VTR 1000 Turbo. Um, I've noticed in YouTube that there is not a lot of videos that shows how to turbo a motorcycle or or especially a carb motorcycle. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you guys how to pressurize the carbs with the turbo. Okay. Basically the carbs internally they can just stay the way they are. Okay, you just have to move some tubes around. Okay. So there is this pipe here that pressurizes the slides. So you gotta figure out basically this stands on all carb motorcycles, okay? Um there is this tube here that pressurizes the slides. So when the boost hits in, this helps basically the basically just like the boost goes through and mixes up with the fuel and goes inside to the engine in certain RPMs or in another way like between 3000 and 6000 RPMs each motorcycle is different okay that's this will pressurize the slides, okay? And this tube here, which called the uh, pitted tube, okay? This one has, I have a pipe, is going through this big pipe. It's a small pipe here, if you can see. Okay, it's welded through, and I drilled a hole. And the hole is coming this way, like that. Like, I drilled it this way. If I had a time, I'll just take the whole thing for a part and I'll show you, okay? And when the air goes through, the airflow pushes all the way to the bowl and it pressurizes the fuel level, okay? That's another main thing that you have to do all the time. This is like a main thing, okay? And the other main thing is the plenum size. So basically, for a four-cylinder motorcycle, you need a one-liter plenum. If it's 1,000 cc, if it's 600 cc's, probably you need 0.7 liter. That's if it's four-cylinder. Okay. The bigger the plenum, the better. Better for tuning. Okay. If it's two-cylinder, if it's one liter, you need a two-liter. And if it's one cylinder, if it's a one liter engine, you need a four liter. So the, that's all because the plus is in the engine. So it helps it, basically makes the, you gotta pressurize it. So the car will work properly. Okay, that's the main thing with the motorcycle and there's the fuel pump and the fuel pressure regulator. Okay, you need a return line. As you guys see here, I have a huge return line. So I'll never have a problem with the returning the fuel. And I won't have any flooding or anything. It's a fat line. And I welded a pipe inside the tank. Okay. So basically how it works, I have the fuel line coming from the tank to the fuel pump. Always you need a 3 PSI over what boost you're looking for. So if you want to run 10 PSI, you need probably around 15 PSI of fuel pump. Okay, I have 120 PSI fuel pump with high flow. It's really good. It's MSD fuel pump. I can like fit the description of it in my, in my YouTube video. Okay. And this fuel pump goes through all the way to a fuel filter right there and goes back to the fuel pressure regulator. Then the fuel pressure regulator regulates how much fuel do you need in the engine. Okay, so I'm running around 2 psi fuel on idle and on boost keeps regulating. Every one PSI f boost adds one PSI of fuel. How? There is, a fu uh, there is a boost reference right here. It's coming from the vacuum line or the boost line. And just 
regulates how much boost do I need and basically that's how it is internally the carbs has to they can just stay the same you don't need to change anything and it will just work yep that's it bye